Hello everyone, V does a pretty back with another review. This is the Bicycle Steel from Cardissons on Kickstarter. A few things I want to say before we get onto the deck. They sent some stickers. I got some stickers. You got this one which has some kind of a samurai type guy on it. Not sure how that really fits into the theme. And then you see all the pips. Really nice as you can see. I also got this massive tip. It's a dealer tip. It's a rectangle tip and it says steel dealer. And it's really cool. I've never seen a poker tip that is square or rectangular. So I really like that and I decided to get it. It would have actually been cool if these guys had, I don't remember if they did have, but it would have been cool if they did have steel metallic tips. It would have fit with the theme. But they, I don't think that they did. Otherwise, I would have gotten them. Speaking of tips, though, I did get some. You get the clubs in blue. Hearts in red. Diamonds in purple. And spades in green. Nice poker tips. And in comparison to this one, you can see how big this freaking thing is. It's more than twice the size. On top of that, I got this. Solid steel dice. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't think I did. I might have had another one. I'm not sure. But solid steel dice. There's the spade pip. Don't use these on a glass table. You'll break it. <laughs> but they're uh, pretty cool. So let's get on with the deck. The front of the box. It says bicycle on top. Steel on the bottom. You get that. Cool spade pip. On the one side, it says Ericus and Finnis cards. I do not like what they did here. It makes it hard to read. I know they're trying to go for like a shiny Simarine effect. It just doesn't work. <laughs> the other side, steel. Looks a little bit better. Top, against steel underneath the seal. The bottom, you get the Cardissons logo, which is a spade pip, and USB-C info. The back you see all four pips. And notice this detail here, you'll see this pattern on the cards themselves as well. The seal is custom, featuring that samurai guy again, and it says steel. On the flap you get bicycle trademark stuff, of course, and the Cardissons actually gets the steel ace of spade, or spade pip. And a little details here, nothing major. Excuse me one minute, I gotta have a drink. <clears throat> the only deck review you'll see, stop, I have a drink, in the middle of a review, I apologize about that. So you do get an ad card, it says card distance with the spade logo, and again in the corners. See the pattern, you see this throughout the cards on the faces, I'm not exactly sure how that fits with the steel theme, but whatever. It's a black face deck as you can tell, here's the back design. Really cool, metallic looking, with black borders that match the faces, more or less, somewhat. It actually has black borders on here, but here, they're not. You did get this, it's a blank card, it's pretty interesting. Jokers, you get this guy here, it says Joker in the two corners. You get the Samurai Warrior in metallic armor. On this one, it's a kind of a gold color, and he's got one kind of brass colored sword. Now this one, you get the same guy, except he's got silver metallic armor with two swords. So, pretty cool. Though again, I'm not exactly sure how the Samurai Warrior guy has anything to do with the theme. Aces, there's the Ace of Spades, really cool. Pips, completely custom. There's the hearts. Clubs and diamonds. Pretty cool, but they lack color in my opinion, and you'll see more of that as we progress. Here's the court cards, they're fairly standard. They've been shrunken down to almost a jumbo index sized face. Uh, that was just to fit the index, I suppose. Custom pips, 
kind of a, a shiny effect to them, <clears throat> supposed to be anyways. And just kind of standard artwork with customized colors. So I will quickly and efficiently go through them. Wow. 